Come out. Okay, Fluffy, you can join. Okay. We're going to be live from the Kentucky Speedway for the Alsco 300 Linen in Uniform Rental Service 300 from the Kentucky Speedway tonight. We're going to have, I don't know, say 13 or 14 cars here tonight. Got a pretty stacked field of drivers. Who's going to be able to claim the victory here tonight? And as the field's going to Go around one lap and bunch together and come and get the green. Looks like the 98 is going to be your race leader. And the Hunt's brother, Pizza, number 98, the 22, it's going to be to the outside. Pretty stacked field here today. Pottles in the five car. She starts third. He's off to a good start here this season. I think this, this is week three of the new season. The seven car, Motorsports, now driving the 88, made another driver change this week. Drives the Hellman's number 88. And the 98 is gonna be your race leader. So we got a few new drivers here to the field. We'll get you all caught up on them as the field comes off turn number four. The field is in control of the number 98. And the green flag is out and we're underway. Green flag is out and we're underway here in Kentucky down into turn number one. The 98 is going to lead the field in turn number one with the seven on his back bumper with the 22 to his outside as they go into turn number two. Down the back stretch, everybody looking to get into a nice little rhythm here. Down and in turn number three they go. Look at the 22, looking to the inside of the seven. You got, you got a wide track here. You got plenty of, plenty of room in the 22 all by himself down to the bottom. He's gonna side draft and get the second spot as the 98's gonna dive below the yellow line. That is all legal here at Kentucky. You can go below the yellow line here in the front stretch. So the 98, gonna pull out a little bit. Oh, we got one car into the inside wall on the apron. And he comes back up onto the track. The seven car sits in second. I believe that is... Oh, the tw oh no, the 22's in second. The seven's going to be on his outside as they come off of turn number four. We have 22 laps here in stage number two. We're already on lap number four. As the 98 is starting to pull away. Here, a good battle for third and fourth down the back stretch out of turn number two the 22 is going to hold on to that spot so we got a good battle going on here from second to fourth as Pendell the number 98 is going to pull away JKR moves to the 22 this week and Dial's driving the 7 car I don't know why I thought that was Dylan there's Dial in the number 7 car oh Looks like a little contact between the 22 and the 7 out of turn number 2. No caution. They keep on going. Trouble for the 88. He gets a little loose. And there's the 5 of Pottle. She's about mid-pack. Taking her time. Fire EMT in the double zero. The Haas number tw double zero. We got a car in the pit road. That's the 21. Here's the 11 car. Now the front stretch in turn number one. So got a pretty good stacked field. Everybody's pretty much spread out, running their own race right now. The two car sitting, going for it looks like a second place shot. And it looks like the two car is going to get the second spot out of turn number four. The 22 is going to look to the inside of the seven and dial down the front stretch. They're going to drag race each other, and dial's going to. I think I have the spot at the line. That was kind of close. 
Dial and JKR side by side as they went across the start finish line. The 98, half a straightaway lead down the back stretch. He's just out on cruise control right now as everybody else just running around this track, running their own line. There's the 11 car of RSH. Let's check up on our defending champion in the 21 car. Geez, where is he? Running back here towards the back somewhere. Uh, can't seem to find. Find him. Here's the one of BB Mod. Nice little, nice ride for that number one car. I like that paint scheme. It's a nice paint scheme. Here's the three car. Running solo going into turn number one and two. Here's the 11 of RSH. Last week's pull sitter. Here's the 21 car. Here's the five of bottles running our own line here. And get a look out in the race later as he's coming across the finish line. Look how far ahead this 98 car is. They really got that 98 car hooked up. All by himself down here in a one and two. But maybe a half a straightaway lead on him. On the second place car. Here's the double zero fire. He's looking to maybe get up to the front here. As the 11 of RSH slides up and into the outside wall in a turn number three. Oh, we got a car. Around goes the 11. I think he collected somebody else, and I believe that will cause a caution here. About 11 laps in here in a stage. 10 to 11 laps in. Here is stage number one. Currently 10 laps into the stage. They got 13 laps left to go. We should see a couple drivers come here, take some tires and fuel, maybe make some adjustments to their race cars. Hopefully they can fix whatever they think is wrong. Looks like we got a couple takers here. We have a field of 15 cars on the track here tonight at the Kentucky Speedway. And it looks like some strategy here played by the four car. Right, the four car is going to be your race leader. Coming to the green flag here to the restart zone. Green flag is out. Look at the jump from the 98. The four did not go on that restart. So that's going to fan everybody out. And the 98 reclaims the lead out of turn number two down the back stretch. We got three wide down about mid pack towards the end of the pack. Going down the back stretch into turn number three. And the seven of dial is going to take the second spot as they come out of turn number four. We're going to have a three wide battle off of turn four for about f third, fourth, and fifth. We're three wide off of turn four. So we're seeing here a lot of action. Ooh, a couple cars scraping the wall going into turn number. Oh, we got cars are going around in turn number one. Two cars collected into a wreck here in a turn number one. No caution. There's the five of Pottle sitting fourth place right now in the, the north lane number five. Dives to the inside of the one car. Now looking to the inside of the 22. Not going to get there. The 22 held the, held the spot. As the 98 starting to pull away yet again here as they come off of turn number two. So, whoa. And the one car gets into the wall. The 22, a little bit of contact with the one. And in turn three, three wide. Here comes the two. Addy, he's looking to the inside. Trying to get to the inside of the five. The bottles off of turn number four. Not going to get there. Got a pretty good pack here right now. These guys are battling it up. And that's allowing the 98 to just to continue to pull away yet again here. That's right along with Pottles on the track. With the one car to our outside as they come out of turn number two. Going to be three wide again off of turn number two. Make a little bit of contact with the one in the 22. 
There's Dial in the seven behind the two cars. They run into turn number three. Got a pretty good pack here. As Pottle's now going to be into the second position. And there's the four car going down pit road. Might be an unscheduled pit stop for the four team. There's the two car below the yellow line going into turn number one. Somebody scraped the wall going into turn number one as well. That's very, very common here at Kentucky. Down the back stretch they go. Ooh, Pottle's got into the wall a little bit going into turn number three. You will see that at going into turn one and three. A lot of drivers do tend to scrape up the right sides of their cars. And the four cars in pit road as well. He's going to go down one lap to the field. And Pottles is hoping to lock into position here and chase down that number 98. So they come out of turn number two. 19 laps into the 22 here. Here in stage number one. And we're riding along with the two car. It looks like he might have some slight right front damage. Or maybe that's just the, the paint scheme. Yeah, that's just the paint scheme. The way the black hits right there in the corner of that nose of that car. It looked like damage to the front end. Here comes the 88 of Motorsport. He's making a move to the front. And the Hellman's number 88. The only bright yellow car right on the racetrack. Everybody else all driving all different colored cars here tonight. We've got a wide spectrum of cars here. And the seven's gonna seven a dial right behind the twenty-two. So we got pretty good battles going on here about mid-pack. The 98 still your race leader. Pottles with the one car all over her back bumper as they roll off turn number two. She's holding strong to the inside. She holds off the one car. And there's the 22 going into turn number three behind them, sitting in fourth. Now to turn number four, the 98, clean and clear, all by himself. Pottle slides up a little bit. The one car going to look to the inside. Not going to get there. Down the back stretch into turn number three. And out of turn number four. The 98 is your stage one winner. So the 98 wins stage one. And it looks like I do believe the two, the five car is going to get third. And she will get third. Pottles and the five car gets third for the stage. The one car beat her off of turn number four. Not by a lot. The four car still in pit road. Maybe they... Uh, decided to park the car for the night. Decided it was not going very well. And they decided to call it a night. So your stage one winner. Then number 98. Look very strong here early on in the first stage of this race. Got a lot of other good drivers that are really good. So everybody took tires and fuel. Probably pitted after that stage, and here they come to the, the restart zone. Greeting flag is back out for stage number two. Down the front stretch, they go into turn number one. They're going to be side by side. We should see whoa, three wide already in the middle of the turn. Down the back stretch, they go. The one car dead even with the 98 down the back stretch on the outside. Can he prevail on the outside? He's got the nose out in front. New race leader at the moment, but here comes the 98 with the hard charge on the bottom. Whoa, we got a car way below the, the yellow line off of turn number four. Three wide in the middle of the bet in the front stretch here. Looked like Dial got squeezed going into turn number one in that seven car. It was three wide in the middle of the pack. So the action is really heating up down. Oh, Pottles hard into the wall. The three car goes around and the two. Hard hit for the three car in the inside wall. That is definitely going to cause a caution. 
Hard hit for the five car. She just got slammed by the three car. Heavy damage to the three car. And the two car picked up some damage now. We definitely can say that the two car has some damage. The five car Pottles. Tough break for her. Just hard racing on a restart. Here at Kentucky. So we're going to see some drivers take some... Come down pit road. Probably the guys that were just in that wreck. They're going to come, come down pit road and fix up the their race cars. So as of right now, after 16 cars started this field, we only have 14 vehicles left on the racetrack. And the number 98 is going to lead the field. Back to the restart zone off turn number four. And green flag is back out. Can the one get another good restart? He's going to side draft the number 98 down the front stretch. As they go into turn number one, we got three wide in the middle of the pack. The 22 sliding high in front of the double zero fire. Sounds like we got some more contact. Oh, the double zero into the outside wall. And we have another caution on the speedway. We have another caution. Can we see what happened? Oh, the double zero hard into the outside wall. Tough break for the double zero. So right now, everybody's following that Hunt Brothers, number 98. Looking very strong here today. The seven of dial. Sits in second, looking to pounce on the number 98. But everything so far, it's been that number 98. Class of the field today. The one car. A little pit strategy from everybody else. Green flag is out. The number one car is going to be your race leader at the restart zone. The number 98 to the outside. And this is his first time being on the outside here today. How is he going to handle? That's going to allow the one car and the seven to the inside. Here comes the 11 of RSH on the inside. Here comes the 22. The outside lane does not prevail on the restart right now. Down the backstretch into turn number three. We have a new race leader. This could change the, the layout of stage number two here. There are three, maybe four wide off of turn four, using every inch of this racetrack off turn number four here in the back of the pack. Every inch of this racetrack is being used by these drivers here tonight. Here comes the double zero of fire. He's looking to make a rebound here. And whoa, the 11 of RSH hard into the inside wall. Caution is out again. So the number 98 did not get a very good restart. And it looks like the seven of dial is now out, out in front here. Had a hard impact for somebody in the back stretch. So the caution is out. The dial is your race leader. He started pulling away pretty good there. He's got the one car behind him sitting in second. And then I believe it is JKR. And the 88, I believe, sits in third. Then I believe it's the 98. Some pit stops here. Looks like we got a few position changes as the field comes to the green. Got go restart zone. Green flags back out out. The 98. Drop towards the back of the pack here. Tough break for the 98, but here comes the double zero fire. He's looking for a rebound. Couple cars bobbing and weaving on the inside lane. Pottles all over the track on the inside. As the one car leads him down the back stretch. Down into turn number three, the 22 is looking to the inside. Now maybe going to slide up to the track. Got a little loose off the bottom. That's going to have the 22 slide up the racetrack down the back, down the front stretch as they come to the line. It's 
16 laps into the 19 here for stage number two, and it looks like the one car might be your stage two winner. There's still a few laps left. Anything can happen down the back stretch. A couple cars make contact with the wall down out of turn number two, and into turn number three, the 22 is going to look to the inside. Here comes the two right behind the 22. They're starting to work together here as they come up off turn number four. The one car going to go for a block. 22 looking for a dive bomb across the front stretch. Not going to get there. Here comes the two. Look who's coming on the outside. The number 98 slowly making a rebound here on the outside of the speedway. Here comes the 22 down the back stretch right on the back bumper of the one. Can he get to the back bumper of the one car? He's going to go to the outside. Whoa, the one gets a little loose. Slides up the track. Here comes the two. They're going to split him. Can they take it three wide off of turn number four? No, they will not take it three wide, but the two car to the second spot. Down the front stretch into turn number one. And two more Lehimes around this track for stage number two. Here comes the two car. Whoa, look at a run that two car got out of turn number two down the back stretch. Going in and turn number three is going to look to the inside. They're side by side. They're going to make a little bit of contact and caution is out. I believe that will be the end of the stage with only two laps left to go here in the stage. I believe that will be the end of the stage in the one car. Will be your stage two winner here. So the one car is going to be your stage two winner here. The two car is going to get second. And it looks like I believe the seven of dial will get third. And then JKR will be fourth. Ponsky in fifth. And then the 98 will get fourth. So pit stops in. Everybody's coming back to green flag here. The final stage in Kentucky. The 98 is your race leader coming to the Geico restart zone. Green flag is back out. The final stage. Anything is possible here in the final stage. War underway. Down into turn number one. We got three wide at the back of the field. One car into the wall. I believe that was the 51 into the wall out of turn number two. The leader goes down the back stretch. Here comes the two to the inside of the one down the back stretch. They're going to be drag racing down the back stretch. Cars making contact with the wall going into turn number three. Out of turn number four. The 98 is your race leader. Look at the one car looking to the inside of the two as they come down the front stretch. As the 98 regains the lead again. Stage two, they were kind of distant towards the front of the field. And now here they are, late in the race, back out in front. Oh, hard into the wall for the three car. Collecting the five, and it looks like the nine caution will come out. What happened? Let's see if we can get some footage from the replay. It looks like the three, looks like the three and the five got together. Hard hit for the five into the back straight outside wall. And that's going to be your caution, your first caution here in the final stage. As the three and the five got together coming off of turn number two, the five got into the outside wall really hard as long as, along with the three car and then the nine just had nowhere to go and ran right into the side of the five car. So another tough break here late in the race for the three car and the five. And the double zero of fire has some damage to his front end of his race car. And the number 19 as well has got some damage. The nine car as well. So here they come. Out of turn number four to the restart zone once again. Out of turn number four. Field's under control. The 98, we're back underway. Seems like a little bit of a slow start from everybody. Seems like they kind of pedaled it through. And down into turn number one. Sparks are flying as they bump and grind into turn number one. And it looks like, whoa, the 51 into the inside wall. Two more cars into the outside wall. And it looks like everybody's going to keep on going. And it looks like the 51 is sideways in turn one and two. And I believe no caution. No caution. We stay green out of turn number four as the 98 is your race leader with the two car right behind him. Here comes the 22 sitting back in the near the back of the pack. 
Here comes Dial in the seven on the high side, looking to make the high side work. Here comes the two. He's getting a run down the back stretch off of turn number two down the back stretch, getting a run into the back bumper of the 98. So they go into turn number three. Dial's trying to get back out to the front. He got up towards the front, and got out, got out pretty decently far ahead of the field, and then a caution came and kind of brought a abrupt end to his run out here out in front but here comes the two car the KCM the KCMG KC Motors Motor Group number two car closing in on the Hunt Brothers Pizza's number 98 as they roll into turn three and four looks like RSH in the 11 is going to get into the outside wall once again here tonight and here comes Pottles in the five some tough breaks for this five team, but here they go. They've they've had some done. They've done some work on pit road. Get that car fixed. She's still got plenty of time here. Only 50, 55 laps in. Out of the 100 laps here tonight, it looks like the 88 of Motorsport gonna drop to the inside. Turn three and four fire, and the double zero way to the outside. Here comes the two car. He's all over the back bumper of that 98 car. He's not letting him out of his sight. They almost made contact with the wall going into turn one. It's going to slide to the high side. Get a little loose out of there. And here comes the seven and the one car. So with that little bit of a bobble, that's going to allow the seven car to close in on him. And going into turn number three, going to be all over the back bumper, pushing him through turn one and turns three and four. My bad on that. So they come out of turn number four across the finish line. It's going to be the two cars still in second with Dial to the outside. Dial racing for Junior Motorsports in the number seven car. Sitting strong in third place out of turn number two down the back stretch. Along with the one car, his teammate in the one car right behind him as they go into turn number three. And there's the 22. He was really strong early on here tonight and now sits about middle of the pack. Hoping to get another caution maybe here. Get back up towards the front here and see if he can get that number 22 right back to the front where he wanted it. But right now it's all class of the field again here like it was in stage one. The number 98 out in front. Showing these guys around the Kentucky Speedway here tonight. Out of turn number four. Look at the run. This 98 car gets down the front stretch. What a great run. All by himself. Here comes the 22 all over the back. Bumper the five going into turn number one. We got a little bit of a little bit of a battle starting to brew here. We're gonna ride along with the 22 car out of turn number two. Down the back stretch into turn number three. You can hear the draft just pull him in as they come out of turn number four. Pottles all over the back bumper of the 88 as they come off of turn number four. The 22 is going to have to go high so he doesn't make contact with them. Down into turn number one. Pottles in the 22 almost. The five in the 22 almost made contact as they run into turn. Whoa. The 88 gets loose coming out of turn number two way to the outside saves it doesn't get into the wall good save and the battle continues between the five and the 22 here they come out of turn number four i think the apron is what got the 88 loose off the turn number two you hit that apron just right coming out of these corners and it's going to shoot you across the track i think that's what's happened a couple of times here tonight and caused a couple cautions because no drivers had nowhere else to go But look what happened. The two and the seven have reeled in the number 98. Could the tires of the 98 be falling off here? His tire wear is starting to play a factor here tonight. 62 laps in. 62 laps into the 100 as the 98 starts to pull away again off of turn number two. Here's the 11 of RSH in front of the 88 in Motorsport. Bit of a tough night for that 11 team. 
Just can't seem to get going here tonight. Everybody's about spread out. We're in their own race right about now. Coming out of turn number two down the back stretch. Four cars all together. And into turn number three. It's like a small little drafting train like a Talladega here. Coming out of turn number four. The 98 slides up and here comes the two. Could there be problems with the 98? He slides high and he's going to drop back three positions. Going into turn number one. And the two car is going to be your race leader as they come out of turn number two. With the one car to his outside. The battle is heating up for the lead down on turn number two down the back stretch. We got a four car battle for the lead. It's just a four car breakaway. These guys are just racing each other just for the lead. They're going to be three wide, maybe with a nose, maybe four wide off turn four. Not going to get there. Look like now they're tandeming. They're going to work together to try to get past one another. The 98 is going to push the seven to dial into the lead, going down into turn number one. The battle's starting to heat up, man. Can can these can the 22 and the double zero fire catch these guys if they keep battling like this? Those two back there sitting fifth and sixth, they should be able to catch them relatively quick, relatively quickly here, as they roll through turns three and four again. Off turn number four, Dial is your race leader in the seven car, great positioning for that 17. Here comes the number 98 back to the inside. He's gonna put it back at the lead at the start finish line here as they go down into turn number one these guys are swapping positions left and right i think every single one of these guys here in this four car group has led one lap already in this little last couple laps here but back to the front is the number 98 so whatever was wrong a couple laps ago they he seemed to figure out what it was and get back to where he was what you want to do you make one slight little mistake you want to remember where you were running good get back into your rhythm and don't let it bother you and it seems that's what he did but now the one car is back all over his back bumper again they're starting to spread out yet again so the number 98 starting to pull away down the back stretch into turn number three again and the four car breakaway, the four car field that has broken away is just pretty much split up. Here comes the 22. He's starting to reel these, these three in front of him in. And the fire sitting back there in about sixth position. He's going to sit back and hopefully let these guys all bunch back up again. They're going to be three wide off of turn number four, or turn number two. Down the back stretch into turn number three, they go. Five car, five car battle so far here. Right now they're starting to close back in the number 98 again. Three cars versus one. Three engines, more horsepower, and they're reeling them in quick. They, as Dial leads that little train, and the 22 is going to be pushing the train. 69 laps in, out of turn number two, down the back stretch. There's the two car. Sitting in fifth. Pottles and the 11 of RSH are working together here. Starting to re. Oh, the 22. Blow the double yellow line. He's going to pit road. A little pit strategy. Maybe green flag pit stops coming into play here. So we should start seeing some drivers maybe start coming down pit road. The 22's coming down pit road. Maybe there's something wrong with the car. Maybe they just want to. Try a little strategy. Oh, the 98 got into the wall. One car to the lead down the back stretch. Are we going to see anybody else coming into the pits off of turn number four? Looks like the 98. 98 is coming to pit road. Green flag pit stops are underway here in Kentucky. This could make her break the race. The 88 getting into the wall off of turn number four. The 19 into the wall. So green flag pit stops. It looks like the 98 comes down pit road. The two will follow suit. There's the 22 pulling out of pit road. And right now I believe it is the number one. Your race leader followed by the seven of dial as they roll through. Turn three and four looks like they're coming down pit road. Here comes the leaders. 22 was the first car down pit road. And there's the five of Pottle. She stays out. The 88 of 
Motorsports slamming the wall off of turn four yet again for the second lap in a row. And we got another car coming down pit road. So right now it is the five car of Pottles. Right now it's your race leader with the, the 88 of Motorsport. Playing a little strategy here. It looks like Pottles is starting to position her car down the backstretch to go to the inside. Here comes the five. The five car coming to pit road. And it looks like the 88's gonna come with her. The 88's coming with her. We gotta find the 22. First car down pit road. Where is the 22? There's the 22. He's your race. He's gonna be your race leader right now. I believe he, if not, he is one lap down. Or the 98 will be your race leader as the field starts to cycle through. Oh, the one car loose on the bottom of the track. Got into the outside wall and the inside wall. 98, can he close in the 22? The 22 right now, I believe, is your race leader. As they go through turns three and four, the two car sits back there in about third. Actually, I think these guys are about to come take first, second, and third away. Because Apottles was in the race, was the race lead. She did stay out when these guys went. So now the number 98 is in second. The 22 is the race leader, and the two car sitting back there is in third. So as green flag pit stop start to cycle on through. The 22 is your race leader with lap traffic in front. The 51 car, lap traffic here going into turn number one. Maybe the 51 played a little strategy, and he's out in front now. My live leaderboard is not working at the moment. Going into turn number three, the 22 is going to dive to the inside of the 51. The 51 is just going to move out of the way and let everybody by. Be 75 laps in here at the Kentucky Speedway for the Elsco 300. And the 98 starting to reel in the 22 out of turn number two down the backstretch. Pottles in the five car. She sits roughly eighth position. Here she is sits, sitting in fifth or eighth. Coming out of turn number four. Should we see one more caution here tonight? This should set up a really good end of the race showdown between all the drivers and bunch them back up. Here comes the 98 looking to the inside of the 22 into turn number three. Could this be the pass for the win of the race? 22 holds strong on the outside. He's got the preferred line on the outside so far. The 98 is going to still be there. The 22 is going to block. Down the front stretch into turn number one. The 22, whoa, scrapes the outside of the wall a little bit going into turn number one. That's right along with the 98 down out of turn number two down the back stretch. And into turn number three and four. Here they come up off of turn number four. It looks like dial and fire side by side off turn number four. It's going to be the double zero going to take the spot away from the seven. And here's RSH. We're going to check in on the number 11 car. Sits in seventh place. Seventy-eight laps in, seventy-nine laps complete here at Kentucky, and the ninety-eight looking to the outside, not going to get there down the back stretch. We should see these guys come down pit road maybe one final time, but not here, to, not until towards the end of the races. We got another lap car. It's going to be the nine car. He's going to stick to the outside. Ooh, he's going to scrape the wall on the outside. Just try to stay out of the way of these leaders battling it out for the lead. 
98 trying to find a lane around the 22. The 22 seems to fill the line where he wants to go there side by side out of turn number two down the back stretch. Down the back stretch, they run into turn number three. It's going to be the number 98 taking the lead to the inside. The number 98 is back out in front, but here comes the 22 looking for the crossover off the of turn number four. And it's going to be the number 98 at the line. Your race leader going into turn number one. They're side by side into turn number one. The 22 going to take the spot back on the inside. Can the number 98 come back on the inside? He's going to look to the outside. No, he's going to dive to the inside. Maybe back to the outside. Trying to play a little mind games with him. Down into turn number three he goes. Looking to the inside. The 22 slides a little bit high. Here comes the number 98. He's going to do what the 22 to, did to him last lap. Drag race down the front stretch. At the line, it was the number 98 again. That would have been a great finish right there to call the race right there. And the number 98 would have won by maybe a couple of inches. Out of turn number two, down the back stretch. The number 98 is your race leader as they go into turn number three. These two are going to start jocking position again. Here comes the 22 back to the inside. They're side by side off of turn number four. Looks like they're going to be swapping positions every other lap here. And the 22 is going to be your race leader at the line. With roughly 83 laps left to go here in Kentucky as they come off of turn number two. The battle for the lead is starting to heat up. Here comes the 98 back to the inside down the back stretch into turn number three. Here we go again. They're going to swap positions yet again here in between the turns. Maybe not. The 22 is going to hold strong on the outside. They're going to be side by side off of turn number four. Here they come across the start and finish line. The 98 is going to be your race leader at the line. Like I said, they're going to swap positions every lap. Here they go. And a turn one and two. Still side by side. And the 98 is going to prevail. And he's going to pull up to the outside. And here comes the 22. Going to follow his draft down the back stretch. Maybe pull into his inside into turn number three. And he's right back to the back bumper off of turn number four. They get together, maybe push each other a little up the track. And they make contact down the front stretch. The 22 is going to move into the lead. And here comes the two car. He's watching these two battle it out. He's hoping they continue. Because he can reel them in as they continue to battle for the lead. That was allowing the two car to slowly reel him in. So should we see green flag pit stops here again? We should see them very shortly. We're 86, going to be 87, la 87 laps. No, 86 laps complete here. And we should see green flag pit stops here very shortly. And the number 98 is now your race leader on the 22 down pit road. Could this be a scheduled pit stop? It looks like it could be a scheduled pit stop for the 22. A little fuel strategy here maybe from the 22 coming down pit road. And we got a couple other takers here. And the 11 of RSH coming down pit road. The three car coming down pit road. And they're in their stalls. Maybe a little strategy from these guys coming down kind of early here. And the double zero of fire came down as well. So did the 88. So we're starting to see green flag pit stops here again. Play, play a factor here in tonight's race. Here comes the number 98 followed by the two car. And the seven of dial, the one, and the 51 will stay out as they go down front stretch into turn number one. Across the start finish line. There's the 22. He's going to come out of turn number four. So maybe these could be the final pit stops here tonight. Could this be the final pit stops? Could this be the deciding factor of the race? Can't... Sounds like we got some more takers coming down pit road. Is the seven coming down pit road? No, he's staying out more. He's going to try to put the other guys a couple laps down. Maybe get an advantage on these guys so when they do pit... As the number 98's now just coming out of pit road. And the 7 of Dial. Going to lead him down the backstretch. Right place, right time, maybe. 
get out in front, lap the rest of the field, and then come down pit road and try to beat the other guys out. And and it looks like the 51 or somebody dove down pit road. I believe that might have been the one car diving down pit road. Yes, that was the one car. The 51 still sits right behind him. And then there's the three back there. So these guys are... Here comes Pottles out of pit road. She decides to come out of pit road. And there's the one car coming down pit road. There's the double zero fire. And the 88 of Motorsports. Having a pretty good run here in the 88 team for Junior Motorsports. There's the 51 looking to the inside of the 7. Not going to get there. When are those guys going to come down pit road? There's the 51 to the inside of the 7. Down the back stretch as they go into turn number 3. And the 51's going to take the pass. And here comes the 7 car. He's coming down pit road. And the 3 car is staying out. So less than 10 laps to go here in Kentucky. And I believe the 22 is going to be is going to take over as the race leader. If not, it is the 98 as your race leader. I'm not exactly sure where the leaderboard runs at the moment. I know the 7 card took over the lead. So he may still be in first. Right now, still waiting for the leaderboards to update after pit stops. Here comes Dial out of pit road now. Trying to figure out where your race leader is and who your race leader is. I believe it may be the 98 car. The 7 car is sitting 6th. With the two car all over her back bumper. Pottles with a good uh, rebound here with a top 10 so far. 93 laps left to go here. 93 laps in, my bad. Not 93 laps to go. And it looks like Dial into the outside wall on the 7 car. Problems for the 7 car. Not getting going very well after pit stops. Here comes the two to the inside of the five as they come off of turn number four. That's going to move Pottles into the fifth, and then the two car's going to pass her for fifth. And the 51 is coming down pit road. The nine is down pit road. So I believe the 98 is your race leader. The two car sits in fourth. So the two car f is in fourth. The, I believe the one car sits in third. So then I believe the 22 is in second and the 98 is your race leader. Going to pass the number three car into turn number three. We have Six laps left to go. Coming to five to go. Down in the turn number one, the 98, I believe, is the race leader. The 22 sits in second, I believe. If not, the three car sits in second. A little bit of strategy trying to play out on the three car. Four laps remaining here in Kentucky. Could we see a late race caution? I don't really think we will. I think everybody is pretty much just spread out far enough where we won't see it. Whoa, a little bit of contact between the one and the two car. Maybe, if anything, it's going to come from these two right here battling for position out of turn number two down the back stretch. 
in a turn number three. Three more circuits around the speedway. Three laps to go. Down into turn number one, the 98. Leads the field in turn number one. Out of turn number two, down the back stretch. All by himself. Those green flag pit stops really changed the the outlook of the race here late into the running. That 98 car has been pretty much flawless all day. Stage two kind of dropped out of the running for a little while and then was right back to the front towards the end of the second stage. Pottles looking for a, another position here in the five car. All over the back bumper of the one car. Down into turn number three. Coming to one to go. We got one more lap here in Kentucky. One lap to go. Next flag will end the race. Out of turn number two, down the back stretch of the 98, clean and clear, all by himself, and into turn number three. Ladies and gentlemen, off of turn number four, your race winner is going to be the number 98 here in Kentucky. Followed by the 22. And I believe Pottles will get a fourth place finish coming off of turn number four here at the finish line. So good prop, good, good finish for the five team. 98 was your race winner. After I did finally get to sort out after the leaderboards did update after a green flag pit stop. So your race winner goes to the number 98. Second goes to the 22. Third, I believe, is the two. Third is the two. Fourth is the five. What a great run here tonight from the 98. Strong all night. Show these guys why he is the class of the field here tonight. We will see you all next week for another exciting race for the PTM Xfinity Series. We are signing off from the Kentucky Speedway, and we will see you all next week. Have a great night.